Hi guys, good morning. It's your girl Deja. And I just want to like just talk with you guys today. I want to talk about purpose. How we all have a purpose. We are all here for a reason. We're not here just to do what we want to do. Every single person have their own purpose, their own gifts. But it's up to you. Like you said, we have choices. But I believe we have choices to a certain extent. Because when you one of God's chosen ones, at the end of the day, his mission, his purpose on your life is going to fulfill regardless. You know, you can prolong it. You can handle yourself, you know. But yeah, we all have a pur purpose, a destination. The purpose is usually what makes you angry. Something that, you know, get under your skin. You know, something that you want to fix on earth. We all have a problem to solve here. I don't believe everyone is just here to follow the system. Like, we, this is the matrix. This is fate. This is a cover-up to keep us from... You know, being our best selves, you know, living our best lives, like really living our true selves, living in our identity. But let me say one thing. Let me just welcome the Holy Spirit, even though I know he lived within me. Just ask the Holy Spirit to come and join me and help me speak to you guys. Because without the Holy Spirit, you guys, my words be like all over the place. So let the Holy Spirit, you know, just lead me and just guide me, you know, into saying the right things to you guys. But like I was saying, like, we all have a purpose. Like, I don't believe we are here just to be here. Like, I feel like life on earth, we living and learning. You know, it's a test. It's like a maze. It's like you have to figure things out. It's like a a map, like a treasure hunt. Like, life is really like a maze. Like, yeah, you have to, like, just be in tune, be in that, you know, have that relationship with God so you can be able to hear him and listen to him and see the signs and the wonders and to follow where he's leading you to go. And I'm telling you, like, when you surrender to God and give God everything, life is so much greater. It's worth living. Like, without God, life is not worth living. With God, it's like, he just, he just give you joy. He give you peace. You know, he take away your hurt, your burdens, you know. And he just give you his strength. Like, you give him all the negative things. And then for an exchange, he give you love, patience, training, wisdom, clarity, direction. He hold your hand, he walk with you, and he lead you. Like, out of all of my 30 years living on Earth, planet Earth, like, I never, like, experienced this much joy and love until I came into a covenant with God. And I see the signs. I see the miracles. Like, God is, like, everything and above. Like, it's not even a word, a word to describe God. His love is unconditional. Like, you know, nobody's perfect. But God, he's like a parent. He corrects you. Like, when I'm doing something wrong, God convicts me. And he, you know, in a graceful way. He's not harsh. He's not. He don't yell. He don't scream. He just like, he tell you no in the right way. He tell you the right way. And he said gracefully, you know, like, that's not right, you know. But I just want you guys to know that 
that's the best thing you can ever do by just surrendering your life to the most high God. Like, he can take you further than what you can take yourself. Like, I don't depend on my own strength. I I depend on the Father's strength. God created you. He know you more than you know yourself. And he created you for a purpose. Let God lead. Surrender. Give it all to him. He got you. He's always on time. He make a way out of no way. He's powerful. He can protect you from any and everything. You know, and other things sometimes like, it's not always, you know, that when you've been attacked and stuff like that, it's not always the devil. Sometimes God, he'll let the devil touch you. You know, to teach you, to elevate you, to grow you. Sometimes we have the best training is to like you know live and learn you know you live you learn as you living and you're, you make mistakes like you learn throughout your mistakes you learn throughout your mistakes It helps you with your discernment. You gain knowledge and understanding. But yes, God is awesome. And you guys should, you know, start working on your relationship with God, becoming more close with Him because He's everything and above. And this is just the beginning. We're trying to go way up there, okay? It's levels to this. But that's going to be all for the day, you guys. You guys have an awesome day, and I love you guys. Toodles. Bye-bye.